Hi all, it's me, Andy, and um, I just recorded the Godot uh, Visual Shader Editor video where I showcased the new Godot Shader Editor and compared to Blender's node system. And I just wanted to show this or to create this video. And maybe some of you have seen this um, little G bot here. Uh, it's a small project that started to get used to Godot and um, since I've uh, started something new and I don't need it anymore, I wanted to share it with you. So um, you can grab the files uh, in the description below and um, just test it and see what I've done. And maybe you can learn something from this project. And I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what is here. So um, you can just press F5 and see what it uh, what you can do here. So this is just a little um, movement script um, with animations so not very much interactivity here but just a script where you can use this little guy here and um, run with him and jump stick to walls stick to ledges here at the top and it is also um, it also works on mobile devices so you have this um, uh, touch inputs here and it also scales to every um, every resolution so just download it and try it okay so I have this very simple scene here where I have the world node a static body which is the collision uh, for the ground and the wall here and I have my little g board here so let's jump into that resource and see what it has um, now you see that um, Compared to the older video, I have a uh, complete uh, 2D rig system here with bones. I just can select them, move them here, with uh, and animate those bones, which I've used uh, for an animating the character. Or most of the stuff I've animated before, but it can be used now, of course. So I have the uh, rigid body object here, which is set to character, so it doesn't rotate. I have the animation node here, which is used to store all all, anima all, all animations. And um, I have a few timers I use in the um, script. I have this collision capsule um <coughs> shape here. And here is um, my shadow. This shadow is uh, dropped to the ground via uh, with a ray. So if you see, it, it always sticks to the ground and if I move uh, further away from the ground it uh, gets or it fades out so and um, I've set it up that I have a rotation node which is used to scale the um, bot on the x-axis so if, if he turns left it is scaled to minus one and if he turns right it is scaled to one then I have the robo scale which is just um, I have used uh, larger images and just wanted to scale them down and this is uh, where I've put everything into so now I have a node where I have all sprites so they are placed here and arranged in the um, hierarchy I wanted them so the forearm right should go one down so it's before the upper arm and here I can set up the draw hierarchy uh, this won't be needed in the future versions because um, Juan is implementing a z-value for each node so you can just uh, sort them uh, with a z-value in, in the property settings here and, but since it was not possible yet I have put them in, in a separate uh, node here and just arranged them here and I'm manipulating the um, textures with uh, so-called remote nodes so you can get them here um, remote and you just can assign um, a node to that to them and here with a path with a node path and then this remote nodes will control uh, in this case the sprites here so that's where my rig uh, starts the body the arms left and right and um, forearms. This bone display node is just um, 
there to display this um, bone here because Golod al always uh, needs nodes to uh, to know from where to where he draws the bones. So this is the uh, bone setup here. Here I have a few ray casts, uh, a few ray casts that um, are used to check the underground. Um, one ray cast to check the front if he hits a wall or not. This one is used to check if he is um, at the ledge or not. And the one that goes uh, diagonal is uh, to check if he is at a ledge and or at the border and will watch down then. Yeah. And I also have one shadow no uh, shadow ray cast which is used to drop the shadow to the ground. Okay. Um, script wise, I have this is my Gbot script here where I have all my um, logic running. I have also created a simple input states script because um, in Godot you have actions but you just know if you press a button or not but uh, you cannot check if the button was just pressed or is uh, just released so I have created this um, little class which gives me state from zero st states from 0 to 3 and if you have a 0 it is released, 1 is just pressed, 2 is um, pressed, 3 is just released. So later you could can check the buttons with um, button.check equals or you can say if button in 1 or 2 so it is just pressed and pressed uh, then you can do some logic. So do stuff. So that's how it's how it works. Um, here, okay. So in general, I have set up a state machine for the character. So you have different states: ground state, air state, wall state, jump state, and in in that functions, I um, have all my logic for each state. So, um, yeah, Here's, uh, here are a few functions for, for the movement, so if button left is pressed, um, rotate uh, my character to the left and move him with a certain speed and a certain acceleration. So here's the move function, it uses a lerp um, to give a, smo a smooth transition from standing to running, um, here's a rotation function jump function just go through the functions I think they are um, not very hard to understand then this is the ready fun function where I assign the nodes to my uh, uh, to my variables you can add exceptions to raycast so you don't want the raycast to collide with uh, its own collision shape and you can do this with uh, add exception and then just uh, say self so it won't uh, collide with uh, Gbot itself. Okay, that's it. Here are the die state. First, die state, jump state, damage state, and all different states. So, not very complicated logic and just go through it if you like and if it helps you this is awesome and you can learn something from it so um, just to show how I use the input states here um, you can preload uh, classes by just say uh, give it a variable name and just say preload and the path to the input uh, or to the script and if you have created this you can now create inputs with um, let's say move left input states new UI left and you have to define the input uh, keys here in the input map and there we have uh, the action name and this can be accessed with this string here and once you have created the smooth left um, you can use it um, with check so where is it 
you just say here here I assign them two buttons which uh, ha which you don't need to you just can say jump check or in this case I use button jump and there the values from 0 to 1 uh, to, f to 3 are stored which can be used so for example if you want to jump you just want to trigger it once so you say if button jump equals 1 so this is just for uh, one tick and the character will jump then in this case you don't want it to trigger all the time so yeah um, I think that's it um, just get the files and play with it um, maybe I will show you in the future a new project I'm working on and uh, this this little gbot was the um, yeah, the foundation for my new project and this will be a jump and run game and yeah I think I will show it sometime in the future that's it, bye